Oh my god, seven years of Dunriku, very fucking good. Like, fucking hell, like, read it over. Like, this chapter, especially when I saw this one, and I did read, like, this one beforehand before talking about this chapter, so I am sorry about that. Like, but I couldn't help it when I heard seven years later in the title, and you can see why. It's like, and you see it, like, straight up, like, right there. It's like, I'm gonna get straight away, like, when his best, like, friend from, like, you know, orphanage was getting beaten up, I believe her name's, like, Nae, and he just comes walking in with his bag and shit, and I'm like, he looks so fucking boss right now, it's like, if Killer were fucking grew up in Hunter Hunter, this is what, like, he would be, this is, like, him right here, Riku is older <laughs> Killer, were, and he just looks so fucking bossly, manly, just walking through, but he just don't do nothing, they see, like, his knuckles are all fucked up from, like, all the punching he does, and he's been branded as a fucking murderer from, like, everyone. Because they're, like, they the second they saw that, they was just like, yo, he's here. They just fucking back off. And he just keeps walking and they're saying, you know, this murderer makes me sick. And I'm like, yo, you pieces of shit don't even know what this man Riku's been going through for his whole life. Like, what the fuck do you even know? Like, you just, like, starts, like, spreading rumors and shit. Like, he's just a murderer. Like, you know, he did it for his fucking self and You don't know nothing, you pieces of shit. And then even as well, when we like got him into training, it shows that how much dedication has he been going for the past seven years. Like he's like they're already at junior high, and they're saying you know you won't be able to stay at the orphanage like uh, in one year, so you need to start to decide what you need about your future. And he's like, yeah, sorry, you know I don't give a fuck and all that. You should just leave me alone. You know I'll just end up causing trouble. And I really did like that. Naya is like got saying, oh, I really care, you know, I, I'm still going to take care of you, like, stuff like that, even though she's not exactly saying it, it definitely shows by the way she acts that is like, she generally does care for Riku and what happens to her, I mean, we even saw the kid that, you know, she sort of seems to have like a little crush on him and stuff, and it was like, even as well, like, one thing that kind of shocked me was like, you know, shouldn't you go see your mother, and it's like, you know, I have more important things to do, like training and stuff, like, and I was, at first I was like, wow, is like Riku just become like, does he just seclude himself from everyone now? And like, even like now she always thinks that as well. Like ever since he's gone to that gym, he's like secluded himself from everybody. And I feel like one of the reasons why is like when he actually went to see his mother straight when he was going to join that Baba's gym, he went straight up there and he fucking like this. She just flipped out. She's like, get away from me. Get away. Like, like she seen like a monster or something. And it's like her own, like your own son is standing there with cuts and bruises from fucking training. Like, and you, after all this time, like maybe, I don't know, like a week or so has passed by or something like that. Like a week to a month for this point, And this is how you react. And... I'm guessing since then, Riku hasn't absolutely, like, seen her th since, like, you know, seven years. So, obviously, there's going to be a bit of a fucking change. I imagine that maybe for other series, maybe he might go and see his mother. Maybe once he gets to the top or something like that. I, it's really when she maybe changed her mind say, yo, you're not a killer or something. But, yeah, that really makes me fucking wonder, you know, like, what the fuck happened throughout this time. But, throughout the chapter, we got to see him, like, trading. You see how fucking powerful he's become. Like, they're saying, like, he's, like, near rank fucking class boxer like fucking people love like he straight up just punches one guy and he just went on the fucking ground like it was a fucking piece of shit i was like you know that's how you fucking do it i don't know just after seeing that whole pass with the screaming and stuff and he was saying like and see like the teacher was like you know saying yeah you know you wanted to tell her that he was going to get some boxing to get some praise you know you know, I think you would do it. Like, I think you're that little spider web that I can pull and fucking make you into something and all that. But it's like, you know, you can't half-ass shit and all that. And you still have the insurance on life, you know. It's like, fuck it. You know, I don't need shit like that. I don't need life insurance, you know. He's trying to get his life together with a jab and shit. It's just like so fucking emotional. And then yeah, it's really cool because we see Tokorozawa. He's just hanging out the window. He's like, yo, you got the protest tomorrow. What, what's going up for that? And he's like, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to become a professional boxer. And they're like, that's how you end a fucking chapter. It's like already he's already got his goal in sight. He's already aiming for it. And I'm, like I said, it's like I was saying like previously before, I'm guessing as well that his honestly his goal is that he's going to probably become like what he was, what Tokorozawa was. Like... Whether or not we don't know what class he was, I'm guessing like he's probably like, you know, small like lightweight sort of champions and that, and I'm guessing that I doubt he'd go like some heavyweight fucking championship like Naka, like Takamura was or anything from Evo or shit. It'd be sick if he like did like a bunch of classes and then maybe like he actually had to go for all of them. That'd be pretty sick, but I doubt that. It's just interesting that you, how are you going to keep a concept like this 
going on. Obviously, we don't want fucking, like, Epo chapters. Fuck no. I like Epo, uh, Epo a lot, but it's like, I can't go through, like, a thousand chapters of, like, boxing and stuff. Like, you know, three... I know, maybe three, four years of this, and I'd be, like, completely content with this. I mean, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, that's why I'm still talking about it. But, you know, if it's going on the long run, which um, hopefully it's going through, I mean, it's already gone through, like, the 13 things. I normally think this because of Shonen Jump and how they fucking treat series, because, you know, they're assholes, and they normally give the things a boot around about, like, 13 chapters or so. So it makes me happy that it's gone through that stage. Now it's just got to see, can it withstand the 24? That's what I want to know. Now we'll see from there, but overall, like I said, this was a sick chapter. I mean, honestly, the fucking design oh, looks sick. It, his design looks fucking incredible. I love it. I love the little change. It's not too much of a change. Maybe the hair's a little bit longer and he looks boss as fuck, but please want him to come over here because if they do, I'll be getting them day one and you'll be showing me, like, holding them like, hey, look at this fucking series, like... On that, really awesome, fucking loved it. Uh, gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 this week, you know. Since it was just, like, building up more for, like, his life and what's been happening. And, like, now it seems like we're finally, he's kind of, like, starting to move on now with his life without all the fucked up shit. Like, I'm glad this one didn't have the fucked up shit. It was, like, the only thing we had was, like, his, like, friend, like, getting, like, beaten up slightly. That was, like, the only thing that was happening. But he was, like... No, I'm glad he didn't have to fucking murder someone or, like, smash someone's head or something like that. Which is no real violence in this chapter, which is ironic in a boxing manga. But, yeah, let me know that in the comment section down below. But that's all for me, so thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Rikido.